Hi, this is Shankar, and again back today. Mm, I had a little issues with uh, at home and workload, so this is again I take out my five minutes to tell you about my own experiences in astrology, and uh, I'm sure you guys would gain from those experiences. Try it out. I'm not saying they're correct, but try it out and do let me know. Now today I'm going to talk about Mercury. Mercury is a planet in our Vedic astrology is always said that it is always behave like the planet with which it is. It is if it is with Sun, it will behave like Sun. It gives its power to Sun. It, with whichever planet is there, it combines with that and it tries to take the energy of that planet. And uh, taking the energy of that planet, it acts. It's a unique. You know, it can go any way. But uh, my study says that Mercury is a very very important planet in the entire scheme of things. Mercury by itself uh, can make and unmake things. Mercury is like Rahu and more dangerous than Rahu. Mercury is given 17 years in your uh, Dasha system. Rahu is given 19 years in our Dasha system. Mercury uh, signifies a lot of things and Mercury, you know, if Mercury is a good or bad, you should see how the sisters of the native is placed, how the uh, daughter is placed issues with daughter is she happy or not and you know the buas that a bua means father's sisters so if these three things uh, behen beti bua you should always ask how are they if they are doing well and they are good the mercury in your in your horoscope is good now mercury is a planet which actually you know is a planet like rahu and it has it, it is a very unpredictable planet what all it governs, it governs everything. It is actually the space, the etheric, ethnic the space between, um, between um, it, it is a space between the earth and the other layers, but between Jupiter and the, uh, uh, and the layer, which is uh, the etheric layer, the ether, which is there between the planet Jupiter and the earth. And of course, there are layers between the earth and uh, Mercury also. But between that, uh, the, the layer which governs the, that layer, is is mercury it is a very uh, important thing in the whole cosmic energy cosmic energy does not mean that you know a that some uh, you know planet is throwing its uh, you know uh, power on you and you it makes and makes your uh, destiny it's actually what is in the same is out so you are a ball of energy with all these planets there uh, they are chemicals uh, they are reactions they are inside you they are outside you they interact with you and make things happen and not to happen. Mercury governs very big things. Mercury is a planet which, which can actually, you know, uh, make you a billionaire and also make you a very poor man. Mercury is a planet which can un is very unpredictable and cause issues. In if, and if Mercury is not good in a horoscope, that particular person cannot rise in today's uh, scheme of things. Now let me explain you a very small thing about Mercury. Suppose Mercury is with, uh, with Mars, Suppose Mercury is with Saturn and uh, Venus. Now both are friends of Mercury. Now you would say that Mercury is with Saturn and Venus and is excellent, it's an excellent. No. Mercury will sometimes combine with Saturn to create problems with Venus for Venus. Mercury will combine with Venus to create problems with Saturn. Suppose Sun, Moon, Mercury is together. Mercury can combine with Sun to create greater problems with Moon and sometimes Mercury will combine with Moon to create issues with Sun. Now how it happens, when it happens, is a matter of great details of study of uh, Mercury. Mercury is also the planet which uh, connects your, um, which uh, which actually connects your uh, 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 reproduction. It also connects the Mars and Venus. I mean, it also in a way connects your the the, the child which is to be born uh, through two people has to have uh, a link between Mars and Venus in terms of. Uh, as they say, and uh, if that link is there, the the input uh, input and output is Mars and Venus, but the throughput is Mercury. For for everything, the important is let me put you put it like this: the input and output may be two planets, but the throughput from them is Mercury. So you have to see Mercury where it is, and Mercury is is it, it, traditionally it is very very bad in eighth. If you see a Mercury in the eighth house, irrespective of the sign, it is going to be negative. Mercury. Uh, is good in the 6th house because that is its exaltation sign. Mercury is not good in the 12th house, whatever uh, may be uh, the condition, Mercury in 12th house may be erratically unless until it is placed with other planets, other planets. So, you know, it may confuse the horoscope to a great extent. 
Uh, Mercury with Ketu is never good. Its biggest enemy of Mercury is Ketu because it is it, it's a good friend of Rahu. So Mercury in 8th, 12th is bad. 6th is good. Mercury in 3rd house is also not very good. The people you know, keep on saying, uh, praising Mercury in 3rd house. But Mercury in 3rd house is not very good. Mercury in 4th house is always very good. Mercury in 4th house, though, uh, will, will always give a very good a very good results. So Mercury, you know, it's, it's a planet you have to see, you have to see its relationship with other planets, especially with Ketu and Moon, they are the tricky, tricky part of it. And, uh, you know, there's a Kerala system astrology where every planet is caught by another planet. Because Moon and Ketu are together, so we have, we have to see who actually captures Ketu. If Moon captures Ketu, then Moon becomes more powerful and gives more results. So similarly, you have to see Mercury is capturing which planets in your horoscope and then go for it but don't 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 treat mercury lightly because it is like a boy whenever it is in conjunction it keeps on you know uh, tilting itself towards other two planets it will not be a part of the two planets but sometimes go to one planet sometimes it'll go to the second planet similarly when it is not in conjunction when it is alone and i've seen whenever mercury is lying alone a planet with a person with all its intelligence super intelligent you can see all good things in it but at the end of the day towards his life he will he will feel you know what he has done he's done nothing much in his in, in in his life so mercury alone i've seen is never never good wherever it is it it it, it, it will always give a feeling of you know kind of what what have you, what what, what have you, at the end of the day the person feels you know he's not achieved much he could have done more and actually you if you look at him he would have he had much more potential than what he has achieved so mercury alone any place is not good, 8th is very bad, 12th is very bad, 3rd is average, 4th is good, but you have to see it in uh, in conjunction and it is a peculiar planet in which it can change its moods, it can change uh, its uh, its relationship. Mercury is of course uh, not well disposed over Jupiter, so whenever Mercury is with Jupiter and Saturn, so Mercury will combine with Saturn and you know it will crush Jupiter together totally and sometimes it also go over with Jupiter. Uh, whenever you know it has this thing so you have to see the nakshatra padas and you have to have an experience to come to this but don't treat mercury lightly because it's as i say it's a eunuch it's a boy so it does boyish things of going this way that way you know changing it's, it, it is like rahu but it, if it is more dangerous than rahu let me tell you mercury is more dangerous than rahu with this i i like to end this video you have my email id connecting minds uh, you have my whatsapp number my site is there and my books are there with uh, prabhat publications and sagar publications uh, you can read them thanks and uh, bye for now